within T-Snap, you may have a topic or a category that you want to share with another um, user's account or another student's account. Um, so if you've edited something that you think might work for another student or you want a lot of different pages to match among a class, um, you can do it using the export and share. Um, so how you do this is you go on to um, the actual page of the thing you want to share. So for example, if you go to senders and you want to share this page, um, a caveat is it will not share any of the linked pages like Spanish, Topic Work, Supports. It won't do any of that. It'll only share what you see right now on the screen. It also will not do well transferring over languages. Um, I've tried to go and put, you know, a Spanish English into um, a one a version that was only English initially, and the accents get really messed up. So I wouldn't try to do that. So let's say you're just transferring this over to an English um, speaking child's device, and you just want the English side. So what you could do is you go up to the right hand corner to the pencil with the to edit. You go to page. Um, then you go to import export pages and you want to export page bundle to my Toby Dynavox and you're going to click next. I already have this one. I've done this before, but you can name it something different or as you see, I tried this whole time. So I'm going to just name it topics centers three. Um, so I'm going to export. It'll export it to my Dynavox. Then I'm going to go to a different student's device or a different student's or a different user, not to a different device. You can do this all remotely. And then I'm going to take it over and just put it into this random I'm clicking on. And so when you're in the edit version, you wanna to go to topics, if that's where you originally placed it. And you wanna go into the edit feature and you wanna create a button and obviously you can get rid of the speak message if it's a topic and you add the action link and link to in or import and link to page from my Toby Dynavox. You do topic centers or whatever you named. Click import. And then you want to go back to content and make everything, make sure everything looks nice. You'll see that the picture, I like that. You can always search a different picture if you don't like the one that pops up. I also want to make sure it doesn't say topics. I just make it say centers, even though it's not going to talk. It's just what it's going to be written out. You'll also notice all the other buttons are a specific color and mine is white right now. So I'm going to go to style and then button background. And I've learned that the color background is vanilla, so it matches. And then I place it and see that these are in alphabetical order. You can do all of the work to kind of move things around, or you can kind of replace the current centers one if that one, you know, is what you're replacing and you can delete that one. When you click done, now you'll see that this current one um, is exported um, into a new student's device or a new student's user, and you can then open it up and download it onto a different kid's device, but this will only show up within your device unless you share it onto their um, device using um, the download feature. Um, and so that's kind of when you go up here, you go to your page set and kind of use this little feature to send a copy. Um, but right now it'll be within yours. And then you can share this new page set with them. And I have another video on how to do that. Uh, as you can see, neither none of these buttons work, and so if you don't need these buttons, you can always delete them or hide them, whatever works best. And that is how you export and share a page set among different users.